Welcome back to the Techno Communism Conversation. Um, we're going to continue um, discussion of uh, the emergence of the agentariat, or the AI agentic empowered uh, class and extension of the 21st century proletariat. And I'm um, going to then um, 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 extend uh, that visualization to a conversation about uh, what I've termed the connectariat, which would be uh, the next stage in this empowered uh, proletariat. If you imagine that uh, the um, uh, agentariat are, say, people who um, download the next generation of Mistral LLM models and put them on their computers um, um, and use them um, in a collectivized way for uh, to undertake projects basically impossible today. Uh, not a complex uh, concept, but one uh, that is important and under-recognized by the populace. Um, if uh, you have this uh, simple understanding of the uh, agentariat, uh, then the connectariat uh, would be uh, people who, um, are perhaps not unlike uh, patient zero of the uh, Neuralink Corporation, um, uh, people who have a brain-computer interface, of course not necessarily uh, the kind that is uh, surgically invasive, brain-computer interfaces of greater strength than the ones used by um, um, uh, uh, the Neuralace uh, com organizations are, um, <coughs> are uh, have been designed um, uh, using um, um, only um, uh, 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 simple, uh, simple um, uh, things along the lines of uh, um, uh, uh, similar to um, what you would do when you have certain kind of brain scans. Um, in fact, uh, this kind of uh, non-invasive uh, uh, graphene interface is um, is less uh, troublesome than. Uh, the kinds that you have perhaps used when you get these kinds of scans, um, uh, less messy, basically, and uh, thus um, would allow, um, and this, uh, like the uh, use of AI agents, um, uh, has uh, uh, implications that are most discussed, but not of greatest interest. Um, it's not that interesting that there's a man with a... Um, um, uh, piece of electronic junk sticking out of his head uh, using it to uh, play Mario Kart. <laughs> um, um, but it is of interest um, if there's a large number of people uh, with non-invasive brain computer interfaces, presumably um, ordinary people would not be advised to get elective brain surgery, um, um, who are able to undertake projects beyond that of the uh, AI agentic class that I described. And uh, so this um, basically represents two concepts of interest uh, to the techno-communist, uh, that of the proxy hive mind of the early 20th century, 2025 or 2026, um, possibly, and um, that of the more um, uh, fully realized hive mind of the decades uh, to follow. Hey. Okay. And... Um, um, this, uh, so I will now introduce the concepts uh, of uh, the uh, connectariat. Um, this is the second part of the show that I started uh, two days ago, which was, um, um, I believe, uh, April the 8th. And um, uh, so the, the agentariat um, uh, presents a significant shift uh, from the uh, 20th uh, century uh, ways of the proletariat, um, but it, uh, there are considerations uh, there. As I mentioned at the end of the last show, um, the biggest considerations are that this type of product be open source, be sufficient to the task, and it not be sabotaged by the ruling elites. And so the uh, open sourcing and general control of uh, uh, advanced computing and data uh, become uh, the most crucial of questions for the early 21st century. 
um, and ask yourself who controls uh, these algorithms and advanced computing uh, systems today and how do we restore them uh, to the people and ultimately the agentariate. Um, this will dis determine the distribution of power the remainder of the 21st century and um, this is a most crucial question to all of us including the ruling elites who are on the wrong side of this uh, today because <clears throat> without uh, changes on the order of magnitude that I've described uh, to uh, the um, um, uh, to uh, the way that the masses um, approach these things and uh, socio-political phenomena generally. Um, humanity is well on track uh, to becoming completely extinct or nearly extinct. And there's no ruling elite on this planet who in that scenario uh, is more likely to survive than anyone else. They would be immediately targeted uh, by the people who are uh, the walking dead in that scenario and um, they would not be safe in their bunkers. Uh, they would not be safe uh, on the moon. Um, and uh, uh, so um, uh, these people, capitalists, who are killing the planet, the United States military industrial complex could be said to be the great enforcer of all of this. It's also the world's worst polluter. It also uh, really only has one job. It doesn't help people. It's not spending the trillion dollars a year that it has uh, to make sure that people in other parts of the world get food, for example. It's only polluting and protecting other super polluters. Um, and um, uh, so this system um, endangers us all. And it's why we must be willing to take risks to create something like an AI agentic class and the institutions of the kind that I've described. Um, uh, now on to the concepts of the Connectariate, the limitations of the AI agentic class model um, will, in short order, require a further evolution, a progression toward a more unified and empowered workforce, again, from the proxy hive mind um, uh, used by people with um, LLMs of the kind like Mistral, the next generation, on their machines, um, um, uh, able to undertake uh, uh, grand projects, and the larger the number of people in that network, uh, the grander the project, even up to uh, reversing the effects of uh, runaway overheating from climate change. And, um, 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 but uh, further, uh, further strength to create a humane and sustainable world, uh, further strength in uh, this collective is required. So we must transition from this proxy hive mind, uh, which effectively would allow uh, users to have a fairly low impact lifestyle um, in, uh, in first uh, connecting to uh, this collective. Um, basically, as I've said in the last show and many others, a uh, click-through process where um, their agent is doing much of the work and they're answering a few emails throughout the course of the day or week. Um, but because of the strength of this uh, collective, uh, projects uh, beyond that of a comparable number of engineers or scientists would be able to be undertaken uh, by this group. Um, but moving um, beyond that, we must transition from this proxy hive mind to a genuine hive mind uh, by the use of brain-computer interfaces, which are non-invasive. Do not um, really like the idea that brain-computer interfaces are associated with a surgical procedure today. In fact, I'd go so far to say as um, a person who seems to operate like a CIA mega-asset, Elon Musk, who owns the Neuralink Corporation, um, and who's developed that project, um, who is responsible for um, uh, greenwashing projects, uh, are confusing uh, the masses to a high degree about the effects of climate change and how to uh, stop it. Uh, that's most of his business, is greenwashing, rather than genuinely doing anything good. And um, he's engaging in a similar kind of subterfuge uh, with the Neuralink uh, Corporation, in my view, associating um, 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 in the mind of the public, uh, this most important of technologies uh, with something foolish um, and frightening um, in, in this manner, on basically, on if not on directly on behalf of intelligence agencies and fascistic forces in the United States, then he's operating in that capacity uh, uh, on his own volition, um, which is no better. Um, and um, um, 
but the um, these uh, brain computer interfaces that will enable direct communication between the human brain and advanced computing. Um, again, they have implications uh, for individuals that are significant. They have implications for the collective that are earth shattering. Um, um, enhanced collaboration, uh, seamless uh, information sharing and coordinated decision making becomes possible in this um, uh, true hive mind collective. Uh, imagine teams of workers across vast distances uh, collaborating in real time with their thoughts and actions uh, synchronized through uh, brain computer interface enabled communication. This is a world where human beings are no longer limited uh, by their abilities um, in terms of physical action or spoken communication, but they are rather, um, uh, for all intents and purposes, uh, uh, telepathic and able to operate in a, this way in great numbers. Uh, greater representation uh, through advanced computing or so-called democratization, which is a uh, unfortunate word in my view because it's used uh, to describe uh, things that are far from democratic, like the so-called liberal democracies of the West, which are not really representative of the interests of the people at all. Um, um, but in this um, uh, true democratization uh, through uh, the use of both the proxy hive mind network and the ultimate hive mind network, uh, the gap between uh, humans and advanced computing superintelligence uh, narrows further as you transition from the uh, agentariate to the connectariate. Uh, Brain-computer interfaces uh, uh, foster a deeper understanding of AI functionalities and empower the agentariate uh, to exert greater control over these tools, um, um, creating an ease of transition in other areas like ending uh, the risks of capitalist cli capitalism's climate apocalypse, ending uh, the situation where a billion people on this planet spend their entire lives without one of these things, uh, uh, appropriate drinking water, food, or shelter, until they die a naturally short number of years later. That's not a world where a billion people live in this way. That's not a world of intelligence. That's a world of wild fucking animals. And the wild animals in question are the ruling elites and fast fascist Western powers who must not merely be reformed, but must be driven into the sea. Um, uh, this, um, uh, uh, back to um, the um, uh, benefits of uh, the connectariate, this uh, far greater integration with advanced computing, uh, combined with the nascent form of techno-telepathy that I described, uh, facilitated by brain-computer interface, will in short order, uh, pave the way for the emergence of this um, uh, proc uh, of this true hive mind that we could call the connectariate. Uh, the connectariate represents a, a collective intelligence, a unified network of minds connected through um, brain-computer interface technology. It is not the Borg. It is not the physical changing of any human being. Um, it is not anything uh, terrible. Um, or horrifying, but rather it is uh, the building of a thing uh, that would be uh, the springboard to a humane and sustainable world, um, a world where <coughs> all human beings uh, live with uh, dignity and purpose, and um, a world where uh, this uh, a thing like a public health service that's able to treat aging as a reversible condition um, is a reality in every land, uh, so that everyone on earth uh, lives as uh, long as they wish to. And uh, no more are there um, a billion people uh, who have not even the basic necessaries of life, and, but uh, uh, going far beyond that and uh, living in a world where uh, dramatic uh, changes in emerging biomedicine uh, through other disciplines, but principally advanced computing allows uh, human beings uh, to achieve this indefinite lifespan. Um, uh, the, the, the connectariate, um, uh, again, as I alluded, uh, must be a tool for uh, building uh, sustainability and humanity and abundance, effectively, and not something that is uh, coercive. This must be something that's designed uh, not to be uh, frightening or upsetting uh, to ordinary people is why I uh, um, encourage people to uh, talk about this in terms 
more of the agent aureate uh, that is feasible in 2024 or 2025 than in terms of the connectariat uh, described here. Um, uh, coercion um, on, is antithetical to the core principles of re revolutionary uh, cybernetic socialism and similarly disruptive uh, lines of thought, um, pr uh, provoking high emotion and a potential um, entrenched resistance uh, to uh, these outcomes of the agentariat and connectariat uh, must be avoided. Individual choice and collective benefit are the key selling points here. Um, the connectariat un unlocks a vast array of possibilities for tackling global challenges, as I alluded to, uh, sustainable uh, solutions for climate change. Um, uh, the uh, uh, collective intelligence can be directed towards spearheading um, uh, far more sustainable practices. Um, uh, can resource, of what they did back there? Yeah. resource allocation and management can be optimized. Renewable energy initiatives can be accelerated, and environmental preservation efforts can be significantly enhanced. Um, and thus, uh, the transition, which probably will not be um, so pronounced between the agentariate and connectariate, um, and its ability to advance to an analyze vast data sets and predict future outcomes uh, can lead to decisive action on climate change mitigation strategies that are not possible. Um, um, under the regime of the capitalist ruling elites of today. Um, uh, knowledge democratization, uh, seamless information sharing uh, within the connectariate eliminates educational and knowledge gaps, barriers to learning vanish, and the, intell and the intellectual wealth of humanity becomes readily accessible to all. Um, enhanced well-being and empathy, uh, the connectariate uh, fosters understanding and empathy across geographical and cultural boundaries, uh, this fosters social harmony and promotes collective well-being. Um, addressing concerns um, in the transition from the agentariat uh, to the connectariat, uh, particularly concerns around individuality, privacy, and ethics. A um, person leading off a conversation of this kind, uh, wanting to talk exclusively about ethics, is usually generally a concern troll. A person who would uh, uh, who has an agenda to see that uh, no such uh, project ever becomes um, feasible in the mind of the public. However, there are real concerns there, and we should address them. Uh, the potential of the connectariat uh, raises these legitimate concerns, including uh, individuality and free will. The connectariat um, is not a hive mind controlling individuals, and that um, must be repeated. It's a tool for uh, collaboration, a platform for amplifying human potential while preserving individual autonomy. Um, the outcome of uh, being able to do a work product like that of a uh, high blind is a different matter uh, from um, uh, compelling people against their will uh, to live in a way uh, that is alien or horrifying to them. Um, decision making remains a, a human prerogative informed by the collective knowledge and insights of the connectariat those individuals who do choose to use technology in this way in, um, and this is really only feasible uh, by uh, people who have an understanding of this thing that I call revolutionary cybernetic socialism um, uh, capitalists who are interested in things of this kind uh, they uh, will uh, talk about these ideas but they will not pull the trigger on any of them in these ways because uh, they recognize that um, uh, this is something that is not feasible uh, within um, the frameworks that they operate, uh, that where private wealth is upheld um, at, to the detriment of humankind to such a degree as we've said that humanity may well be doomed for this. Nevertheless, they do not amend their ways but continue uh, to uphold those systems. These are people, much like uh, so much of the masses, unfortunately, who have an easier time imagining the extinction of humankind uh, by some horrors, zombie apocalypse, etc., etc., including the most likely one, the climate apocalypse. They can more easily imagine the extinction of humankind than they can um, a small, relatively small change to the economic system. Um, uh, uh, ethical development and governance, uh, the development and implementation of brain computer interface technology within this revolutionary cybernetic socialist framework 
uh, must be guided by strong ethical principles. Uh, transparency, accountability, and democratic oversight are essential to ensure that this emerging agentariate and ultimately connectariate uh, serves the greater good and does not become a t tool for oppression or other foolishness. Um, a race against time for the agentariate and connectariate um, due to capitalism's climate apocalypse. Um, again, it can never be overstated the uh, urgency of addressing capitalism's climate apocalypse, uh, capitalistic and fascistic structures driven by short-term profit motivations um, have failed to prioritize sustainable practices. Um, the consequences of inaction at the present time are indeed very dire. Um, a, a spiraling environmental degradation, mass displacement, greater and greater resource scarcity threaten the very fabric of human civilization. No one will be above the fray in this. In fact, I would argue that um, uh, the ruling elites responsible would be, no matter how many resources or they have at their disposal or precautions they take, would be in greater danger in this uh, runaway uh, framework than anyone else. Um, so the Connectariat offers a crucial advantage in this fight. Um, its collective intelligence and global coordination efforts uh, would enable swift and decisive action. Uh, the Connectariat can analyze complex environmental data identify and prioritize um, areas for intervention, and develop and implement sustainable solutions at an unprecedented scale. Um, a world that is ultimately transformed in the age of the true connectariate. Uh, the um, transition from the agentariate to the connectariate represents uh, the culmination of the revolutionary cyber so cybernetic socialist vision and ultimately um, the socialist and uh, communist visions of uh, years past. A world free from exploitation, scarcity, and environmental devastation. Uh, so uh, please um, entertain uh, this thought of imagining a future where uh, work is transformed uh, from a dr drudgery and make work and things of little consequence uh, to collaborative problem solving of the highest order. The Connectariat empowers individuals to utilize their talents and creativity uh, to address global challenges. Um, uh, abundance replaces scarcity in this framework. Uh, sustainable uh, resource management combined with the collective ingenuity of the agentariate and ultimately connectariate uh, leads to a world where resources are plentiful and equitably distributed. Um, and this uh, global harmony fosters a collective uh, sense of good and well-being and goodwill towards all. Uh, the connectariate transcends national borders and fosters a sense of shared responsibility for the well-being of the planet and all of its inhabitants. So I urge you, uh, in this call to action, you are a person of history. You will succeed where others of generations past have failed. You will do this thing that they have not been able to do. You will unite humanity uh, to common purpose to save this planet. Um, so what I've called the specter of the agentariate and ultimately a connectariate. It's a specter, of course, for the ruling elites who are killing the planet, but it is not a specter for yourself. There is no dystopian nightmare here, but rather a beacon of hope. Um, and uh, this objective represents the potential for uh, humanity and technology to work in harmony, uh, creating a future of abundance and sustainability. Uh, the road to the agentariate and connectariate necessitates proactive measures on our parts, um, and uh, most importantly, among these, is uh, to uh, work with uh, uh, the revolution-minded and build real organizations that can um, um, supplant the, uh, the fascistic systems of the United States and Western powers. Um, and, um, but equally important is the things uh, that I have described uh, such as uh, the open sourcing of these tools and the widespread ad adoption of these tools. Um, further advocacy for um, the ethical use of advanced computing and brain-computer interface developments uh, requires that we support research and development uh, for advanced computing and brain-computer interface technologies that prioritize um, human well-being and the collective good. Uh, this cannot be done under this capitalistic and fascistic framework. It must be done uh, outside of it. Um, um, promoting uh, revolutionary cybernetic socialist principles uh, through public education and discourse 
Uh, this will um, inform uh, the masses of the potential of revolutionary cybernetic socialism uh, to address global challenges and promote a more just and equitable future, um, demanding the representative control, the democratic control of technology, ensuring that advanced computing and brain-computer interface technologies are not controlled as they are today by a select few, uh, imperialists, Zionists, hypercapitalists. These people are all animals who should be fired into the sun. Um, uh, but uh, um, we can build the thing that is truly democratic here and serves the interests of all humanity. Um, the, the choice before us is clear. Um, we will succumb to the limita limitations of the present course, or we will embrace the transformative potential of the agent target, the AI agentic class empowered, and ultimately connect target. Uh, by harnessing collective intelligence and prioritizing sustainability and equitability, uh, we will create a world where humanity thrives in harmony with technology and the planet. This future is ours to shape, so let us begin.